Flying all the time is fun, but it can take a toll on your skin. This video will show you tips and tricks on how to keep your skin hydrated and healthy, and of course, makeup tips for those long flights. First off, water is your best friend. Drink as much fluids as you possibly can, and try and use one of these water sprays. Stop by your local Sephora or makeup counter and snag a few samples of your favorite moisturizers. The plane recycles air, which can dry your skin, so keeping your face hydrated is very important. Also, when I'm traveling for more than 8 hours, I like to use a hydrating mask on my face. I know it sounds weird, but usually when they turn down the lights, a lot of people won't notice and you can wear it for about 20-30 to 30 minutes and remove it. I've seen lots of girls do this when I was traveling in Asia. It's like being in a spa, but you're 30,000 feet high in the sky. Travel brushes are a must because they're portable and smaller, making it easier to travel with. The coolest thing about Iku's new travel brushes is that it includes the cutest and coolest portable kabuki brush. It may seem ordinary, but you can actually open it up and use it to cover larger areas on the face. It's a transforming kabuki brush. I don't like to use foundation while I'm on the plane because it can be a bit too drying, so try and use a tinted moisturizer instead. Apply it on the face as you would a foundation. If you need extra coverage, use a concealer and cover the areas where it's needed. Now lightly dust powder on your face to set the makeup, or else it might slip and slide. Groom and define your brows if needed, and don't forget to bring your favorite white eyeliner pencil because you're going to use this to highlight the inner corners of your eyes and the brow bone. This will brighten your eyes. Also, don't forget to rim your lower lash line to make your eyes look less tired. Now using your favorite dual eyeshadow, dust the wash all over your lids. And using a darker eyeshadow with your eyeliner brush, line your eyes. This is easier to use than a pencil and liquid eyeliner because you never know if you're going to hit turbulences. So lining your eyes with eyeshadow is more forgiving when it comes to making mistakes. Curl your lashes to get them ready for mascara. Don't worry, your lash curler won't be taken away from airport security. Now apply your mascara to help your lashes look longer and fuller. I prefer to carry less makeup with me on the plane, so I double up my lipstick as a blush. I love multifunctional products. So with the brush, apply the color on your cheeks for a healthy rosy glow. And of course, finish it off on your lips. So if you need an extra pop of color, go ahead and do so. Using a lip brush helps the product fill in the creases on your lips better. And spot cleaning your brushes is easy. You don't need water. Just use cotton wipes and wipe off the makeup. Now your brushes are clean. Extra things I carry on board are Q-tips, lavender body cream because my skin gets dry and lavender is very soothing. And if I don't want to catch a cold, I use Airborne. This was developed by a kindergarten teacher. Just drop it in a glass of water, wait for it to finish fizzing, and drink it up. It's packed with B12 vitamins and other good stuff that'll keep your body healthy throughout the plane ride. Also, don't forget panty liner. You want to stay fresh. And of course, I like to wear a scarf and bring on a jacket on board, just because it gets really cold in the plane. So now you're finished. You should look fresh and ready to get off that plane. I hope you enjoyed this video and have a safe plane ride to wherever you need to go. Good luck. Music by Above and Beyond featuring Ocean Lab. If I could fly.